Hello everybody and welcome to DirectX 11 tutorial 36. In the last tutorial we implemented IMGUI. In this tutorial we're just going to go over using it some more since all we did was set up before. So let's say that we want to draw text. Well we could just do that with IMGUI text but this is example text. If we wanted to see if a button was pressed, we could do something like, uh, let's store a counter. We could say if the, the button, if it's pressed, it'll return true, otherwise it'll return false. We could say something like, click me. And if they click that button, we will increment the counter. So then we could have another text field to display the click count. And just call C string on that. So if we test this now, let's see what we get. All right, we click that button and you see our click count is going up. So that's pretty cool, but um, that's kind of useless for us. Let's look at some other things we could do. Let's say that um, after the click me, let's say we want the click count text to be on the same line. But what we can do, by default, it'll go to the next line for everything. But we could do I'm GUI, same line. And now when we test this, You'll see we have our click count, and then just to the right of it, we have that text we had made. So let's look at some other things. Let's say that we want to be able to move our object around a little bit. Well, we could create a translation matrix and offset it by a certain x, y, and z value. I'm just going to call this x offset, y offset, or I guess now we'll just call it... Uh, translation offset. We're going to make it three floats and initialize it to no offset. Now in our where we're setting our world matrix for our object, instead of doing the identity matrix, we're going to do the translation and we're going to pass in these three offsets. Alright, so now we need to be able to modify these offsets from our uh, GUI. So let's go down to our GUI. And what we are going to do is we're going to create something called a uh, drag float three, I believe it's called. So we'll do I'm GUI drag float three, yep. And it's like three draggable little sliders and we can just adjust them like that. So we'll say translation X, Y, Z. Now we need to pass in uh, the address to our three floats. So pass in the translation offset. Now we need to pass in the speed when we are moving, adjusting the speed. We'll go in zero. We'll go in uh, zero point one increments. The minimum value will say negative uh, five. The maximum value positive five. And then you can adjust the format and the power. I'm not going to adjust those. So let's test this out and see what we get. All right, so see that we can uh, we can move these around and it adjusts the object. So as you can imagine, when we are testing out new things, uh, this will this will come in handy a lot because if we want to see, for example, when we're blending, there's all kinds of different operations we can do, and if we want to see what they all look like without going and you know, recompiling the program 50 times, then we could have options to select for each of them and see what each one looks like. So it's really going to help us out a lot when we are debugging things. But yeah, though, I encourage you to download the solution and mess with this a little bit and just to get a good feel of how it works. That is all that we are going to cover in this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we are going to clean up a couple of potential memory leaks. Um, and then after that, we will probably get into blending.